What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Flash Jackson Road to the Show. Last episode Flash ended it with a 5 for 5 game in which he got 5 singles. He's not much of a power hitter, a singles hitter right now. And so hopefully he can be hitting more extra base hits soon. But I'm still working on increasing the power. You can see his average right now was pulled up to 232. Last year he had a hot finish to the year. And we're hoping for more of the same here. And so if you guys do enjoy the video, please do leave a like rating. And now we're into the first game. It's a 3-1 pitch coming on the way to Flash Jackson. He's going to jump on that and continue right where he left off. That is six straight at-bats in a row with a single. Nice line drive hit up the middle. Don't want those ground balls. You want to hit solid contact up the middle to the corners, wherever it is, Flash. Just keep it on a line drive. And now we skip ahead to the sixth inning, and Flash is up with a 3-1 count. No outs in the inning. He's going to draw a lead-off walk to get on base. So I've done actually a pretty good job, I think, of drawing walks every now and then. When I've had the goals for him, I've been able to do them. And later, Flash is on second base, and they end up turning two, and so Flash is left stranded. He goes one for four in this game, does reach twice, and now he's going to get a pinch hit opportunity. So, like I've been talking about before, Flash Jackson, he gets those hits and the pinch hit opportunities. I don't know what it is about him, but that 12-6 curveball is going to have me rung up on strikes, and I was late on it as well. It was only like 81 miles an hour, so I only got one at bat that time, and it took me out. And so I go three for four, did not get the home run. I've had that goal like five five or six times that I've never gotten a home run. As a matter of fact, I've never had a home run in any of my Road to the Show characters. They have always been contact hitters. I'm not a power hitter. I want the fast guys that can run around everywhere and just get doubles and whatnot, and I'll work on the power later. I'll worry about that once I'm established and have a good average. So once again, we're back to working on attributes. And the contact's doing pretty good in the low 60s, and the power is catching up. And I've seen Flash Jackson get some nice hits in some games. We've all seen those doubles over the left fielder's head every now and then. I just want them to happen more often, more than once per episode, hopefully. You can see here a nice hit to left field, but the left fielder lays out and robs Flash of a hit. Nice play. So now runners at the corners, and it seems to be Flash's Achilles heel to get base hits when guys are on base. I increase the batting clutch, but then I get comments saying that only happens to come in effect when I simulate. But I don't know. I always try to up the attributes, and then like the next game I do pretty well, and I think it actually helps something. I don't know if it's all in my head or if I just get lucky after I get the attributes up or whatever it is. If those are really simulated attributes, then I can't stand them because I don't simulate the games. But anyways, I come into this next game now, and I K out swinging at my eyes in that fastball and now bottom of the eighth we have a one nothing game flash jumps on this pitch going deep left field but it's caught i told you he has a little bit of power but just get a little more air underneath it we got these like 25 foot fences i can't stand this stadium i would love a trade but i don't mind playing for the astros i just don't want to play at this field so if they can build a new stadium for flash jackson then i will have no problem staying in the astros organization later he gives another ball a ride another fly out 17 points to all take that that's why i want to hit fly balls now because i get a lot of points for getting out it's a lot better than hitting a ground ball to the pitcher half my ground ball hits are even like four points only an okay at back because they give me no credit anyways next game now flash fouls one off and now the count is a dangerous 0-2, and, and he is the leadoff hitter in this inning, and he takes the curveball back up the middle, sat on it, but right to the pitcher, like I was talking about before, and he's only going to get a couple of points for that one. He goes 0-1. for 1. This was a pinch hit opportunity. You can see the average has already dropped like 10 points this, this episode, so hopefully Flash can get it going here. Right now, Oklahoma City is once again down 5-1. And Flash trying to get a two-out hit with a 2-1 count inside pitch. Flash jumps on it into the gap in left center. And the center fielder is going to have trouble getting it right away. But then Flash is going to have to hold up with a single because his speed is not quite there. Once I have a little bit higher speed, probably in the 70s, I can leg that out into a double. But then the following batter does KO, and I don't know why Flash Jackson is always pinch hitter, and then he only has one at bat. If he gets a hit, you should probably keep him in there. He might get two hits. You can see in his last 10 games, he is batting over 350, although he has had a lot of pinch hit opportunities. Four of those 10 games have been pinch hit games. Then later, Flash on the left field line. That's a nice ground ball to the left fielder, but he has to hold up with a single. And I'm not sure how many points I got for that one. It was probably only like six because they always screw me on ground ball hits. And now later, Flash has two men on and nobody out. 2-2 two, two count. And I swing at one in the dirt. And Flash is going to K out. Runners advance the second and third on the wild pitch. Only goes one for four in this game. Had three Ks. I was getting a little frustrated. And I was really getting messed up with my timing on these pitches. And here I swing and miss at a changeup. They had my number in this episode for a while. So top of the fifth, two men on again. 
And I'm a little late on that one. Flash follows off to the right side, and now it is 2-2, two, two, two on and two out. And right back up the middle. Shortstop can't get the play, and the runner has the hold. He keeps it in the infield, so Flash does get on base. It's not a pretty hit. He gets 12 points, though, because... He got on base and advanced the runners, and then the next hitter is going to ground out to the pitcher. He tags him for the final out of the inning, and no run scores. So Flash goes one for five in that game, only 1K that time. And now another game, curveball. High will take that for a ball. Now it is 3-1, looking for the walk. And we'll take that fastball up in the zone. I should have swung at that one. That one was a money ball. But now 3-2, and two, Flash swings and misses. K's out swinging. It was a tough episode. I had three more K's in this one. And I don't know, just sometimes when I'm playing this game, I'm just on fire. Everything I swing is just a hit. I've had a couple of episodes that way. And then there's just other games where the game seems like it's out to get me. And here Flash swings that one away and he's going to pull it to left field. It's kind of a lazy fly ball. It does get underneath it a bit. And that's going to be an easy fly out. Flash goes 0 for 1 in this pinch hit opportunity. And the average is back down into the low 220s. So it hasn't been a great hitting episode for Flash Jax. He's had a few hits, but it's been pretty inconsistent. And then Flash hits a ground ball, two hopper to the third baseman. They're going to turn two. Flash does not like the call, but he was out it looked like. So 0 for 4 in this game. After pulling up the average, he has been struggling now. And he only goes 2 for 4 this time. He had twice as many strikeouts as his advancement goal period was telling him to have. And they say failed goals. Okay, 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 you failed the goals this time around. But hey... I've gotten them right most of the time, three out of four pretty much every time this season, so they cut me some slack, but this can't be a reoccurring trend, so we gotta pull it up here, 0-2, oh, we're gonna ground out to the second baseman, it's not gonna be a strikeout at least, but looking for that line drive that we saw in the first hit of the episode, that one, this is a junk ball, it's got some wicked movement on it, I can't really see it, now it's 1-2, and two, and Flash is late on that one again, it's gonna be fouled off as he stays alive in this at-bat, just trying to see if he can do anything with this junk this guy is throwing, that one's low, he fouls it off anyways, now another 1-2 pitch on the way, Flash hits one to right field, it's a fly ball, Easily playable for the right fielder, and he's going to throw it in as the runner tries to tag, and he would be safe, but it's still 3-0 anyways. Fresno on top, bottom of the six. Flash trying to get some offense going, get an RBI or something, and he reaches out and hits one back to the pitcher. Pretty easy ground out, and the inning is over, but now bottom of the eighth. It's 3-1. OKC has finally gotten on the board. Change up, low and away. It's now 2-1, and, and we'll sit on this change up as well and just let that pass for a ball. And the count is now 3-1, and one. pitcher deals, this time the changeup is going to get in the strike zone, missed that spot twice, now the full count pitch, Jackson takes the inside curveball for a ball, and that is going to be a walk, so 15 points, gets moved over to second base, and two outs, ball hit deep to left field, flash flying around third base, but the ball is caught, and Jackson does not score, and the Red Hawks go on to lose. Didn't play very well on this episode at all. Average is down at 216, so hopefully Flash can rebound and have a strong end of his season like he did in Season 1. So thank you guys for watching, and watching through the growing pains of Flash Jackson here. So just stay tuned, and I'll have a lot more Flash Jackson coming. I'll see you guys later.